The crypto experience, whether you're a user, a developer, or an entrepreneur, is shit. I'm going to show you a Web3 user experience that is so magically delicious that it feels like using the future. Join us today. You're still early but not for long. That gentleman you just saw is Piers Rudyard. He's the CEO of Radix. Recently, he gave an amazing presentation called RadFi. It was incredible, informative, and about an hour long. So I'm gonna pull out the most important highlights and show you the blockchain technology. Why it is monumentally faster, easier to build on, and more secure than every other chain out there. But Radix didn't stop there. On top of this, they upgraded the user experience to rival Apple Pay. No more clunky seed phrases, contract addresses, and missing assets. It's the Web3 experience we all dream of. And in my second video, Matthew Hines, their chief product officer, will walk you through an amazing demo of this technology. If you wanna skip over and see that demo video, just click up here or wait till the end and I'll link you over. Because once you see the brilliant elegant design of everything on Radix, you're gonna to wanna to dive much, much deeper. But before I do that, there is something crucial I wanna explain. I'm about to show you a completely game-changing blockchain. You're probably gonna wonder why you haven't heard about it yet. And the answer is quite simple. It isn't live. Yep, the full stack solution known as Radix, 10 years in the making, won't be live until the summer of 2023, which is why he said you're still early. And guess what early means? It means money. I was an IT student during the dot-com boom. There were numerous search engines competing like Yahoo, AltaVista, Ask Jeeves, Excite, and Lycos. Then in 1998, Google came out with a radically better search engine. It had a page rank algorithm that gave you great results every time. It had a home page that was clean and easy to use. By 2002, just four years later, Google had taken over 70% of all internet searches. The race was over and Google had won, despite the massive lead that their competitors had. Then in 2004, Google had their IPO. And if you bought $1,000 in Google stock back then, you'd have 25 grand right now. But what if you could have gotten in earlier? before Google was even live? Well, Jeff Bezos did. He put $250,000 into Google back in 1998, and that investment today is worth over $1.5 billion. Oh, the value of being early. Now listen, none of this is financial advice, but I'm gonna flat out tell you, Radix is the only token I am buying this year. It checks every box needed to become the mainstream crypto network of the future. I'm talking the one your parents can use without even realizing they're using crypto. There's an elephant in the room which is not being talked about. The crypto experience, whether you're a user, a developer, or an entrepreneur, is shit. I remember the first terrifying moment that I used Metamask. I clicked confirm and I was not sure if I had successfully made a transaction with Uniswap or had just lost all of my money. Will your mum ever be able to remember to write down a seed phrase? Not a chance. I see developers spending countless hours trying to make sure that their decentralized application is secure only to wake up one day and realize North Korea has stolen $600 million of their users' funds. I see entrepreneurs grind to find a user base and then be cut off at the knees by congestion and fees. Take a moment to really reflect on your last 24 months of DeFi and ask yourself if what I am saying isn't true. Well, is it? Look, you become used to the strange world of Web3. It's normal to blind sign a transaction and hope for the best. It's normal to watch gas fees go parabolic when an NFT becomes popular. Normal for us but not for the seven and a half billion people we all talk about onboarding into crypto. He's right. They aren't gonna store complex seed phrases and get their $500,000 NFTs scammed out of their wallets. If it doesn't work as well or better than Apple Pay, if it isn't secure and simple, forget it. Speaking of simple, there's a simple little thumb button down below this video, and it would mean the world to me if you clicked it. And while you're down there, that shiny red subscribe button is mighty enticing. Okay, so we know DeFi sucks right now, yet we all keep dreaming about mass adoption. Are we delusional? How many people do you know personally who regularly use Web3 and DeFi? Probably less than a handful. Why? 
because Web3 and DeFi needs to become actually usable first. In order to truly achieve our vision of making DeFi and Web3 mainstream, we now realized the entire stack consensus, execution, programming, and user experience all had to be built together. And suddenly, we saw how to do it. He's exactly right. When Ethereum was released, NFTs didn't even exist. In fact, tokens other than ETH didn't exist. Wallets barely existed. What we use today is a group of separately designed technologies that have been patched together to make a semi-workable solution. But that's just not gonna cut it. These cobbled together technologies are clunky, frustrating, and way too easy to hack. So Radix put the whole stack together. I'm gonna skip the tech heavy part where it explains the consensus mechanism of the Radix blockchain. I'll leave a link in the description down below if you wanna go deeper on this. It's absolutely mind blowing, but I'll simplify it by telling you that Radix spent over a decade testing their base layer and built it all to work together. It is the fastest network out there with unlimited scalability, and that's just the base layer. Next, we get to talk about the engine that runs it all. In the early 90s, the computer game industry was just getting started. But there was a big problem. So much work was needed to get the basics of a game running that only about 20% of a developer's time was actually spent on building the gameplay. The rest, custom rendering engines, custom physics engines, and bugs, lots of bugs. It took the invention of a game engine to revolutionize the game industry. Game engines took care of the standardizable, low-level stuff that every game depended on. The bugs got way smaller and less hairy, and the games got larger and more complex. Radix has applied these lessons to decentralized finance and Web3. We've taken all of the hard, low-level work that Web3 and DeFi developers on other platforms are spending 80% of their time worrying about and simply removed it. We also studied how people were hacking applications built on public networks like Ethereum. We then designed the Radix engine to make many of these attacks impossible. Did you realize that a smart contract on Ethereum doesn't know what a token is? Nope, it doesn't know what a token is, what an NFT is, or anything about them. Literally, you have to code these in each and every smart contract. It's like Ethereum only gave you those flat, tiny Lego blocks. Sure, you can build something great by combining millions of them together, but wouldn't your design be a whole lot easier to build, more creative, and more stable if you got some of the other shapes too? Radix gives developers a full library of parts, and that's still on the engine. Wait till you hear about the programming language. Scripto is the world's first programming language built specifically for the needs of Web3. Scripto makes DeFi, NFTs, tokens and liquidity pools all core to the language. It treats asset security as a primary function, not an afterthought. It makes digital assets feel like physical objects. Over a year and a half, we showed nearly a thousand developers and we've had some incredible feedback. As a Google software engineer, this has to be one of the best programming languages I've seen yet. I have programmed in Solidity, Plutus on Cardano, and the fee language on Ethereum. And I can guarantee you that Scripto is the best I've had in my hands. That's what happens when you design tools that provide the absolute shortest path from idea to implementation. The real proof of success is in the applications that the community has already built. Decentralized exchanges of every stripe, oracles, lending platforms, yield farming systems, DAOs, everything needed to run a fully fledged DeFi ecosystem already exists in open source code, all before smart contracts are even live. Look, I'm not gonna stand up here and pretend I'm a software engineer, but I've coded two different tokens and four NFT collections. And I know firsthand that Solidity, the language driving Ethereum and Polygon, sucks. And I can tell you just from playing around with Radix a little bit that yes, it is radically better. It's fast, 
intuitive, and secure, leading to high-functioning, cutting-edge dApps, decentralized exchanges that run like centralized exchanges, order books, futures markets, trading bots, trailing stop losses, and all the stuff that drove the money onto Binance and FTX. Oh yeah, and new apps probably means new tokens and airdrops. I'll make sure to update you on any Radix airdrops as they start to show up. All you have to do is take my airdrop masterclass at getmyfreecrypto.com. It was 97 bucks, but it's free for the moment, so hurry. Now on top of all this, did you realize that the clunky programming languages result in most projects spending 80% or more of their time on security, but not Radix? You're gonna see Web3 digital assets that truly merge with the real world. But there's one big hurdle left for that to happen. And this is where it starts to get really juicy. I have a second video where Matthew Hine, Radix chief product officer, transports you into the world of Web3 on Radix with a full scale demo. You'll get to see how easy and fun the Radix wallet is to use, creating a truly revolutionary Web3 experience for new users. It's like nothing else out there. You need to see it to believe it. So click up here and follow me down the rabbit hole. What you know about layer one D5, greatest in the world, and they finally about to see why. What you know about XRD, I'm smart money, I ain't never on a decline. What you know about NFTs, it's not just Ace, when you finally gonna realize you need scalability, need more utility, then you better call on these guys. I'm going 